ask me when I tell them about how I use the vacuum cleaner for my kid's nose. They're like, no way, you've got to be joking. And, uh, get your finger out of your nose. <laughs> this is my filthy baby Gabriel. He is covered in pizza and ice cream because we just had a trip into town and it was a special day. And now, quit picking your nose. Yuck. So anyway, with all these coronavirus scares and people having, <laughs> and people having, uh, hoarded toilet paper. Rhiannon, please get the... Please get the middle part too, the little nozzle part. Um, with people hoarding toilet paper and Phoenix and stuff, I wanted to share something. So we do not, well, with the exception of my husband, we do not blow our noses in this house. We use the vacuum. Yes, and more specifically for the kids, I use a vacuum attachment. It is called the Ariana Baby Vac. Um, and basically what it is, is it's a clear tube that uh, this end plugs into your shop vac hose and it uh, would be nice if my phone would autofocus ever. Whatever, I think you can see it. Anyway, um, this part plugs into the shop vac hose. Gabby, no, no. And then this end has a little nozzle that we just washed. Thank you, darling. Looks like this. I can. There we go. Looks like this. Uh, it actually came with two nozzles, but I stepped on one and broke it. So uh, this is the one that we use. So uh, one sec. So when it's all plugged in, looks like this. And we plug this in. Gibby, can you plug it in? We plug this end into the vacuum. Plug it in. Uh, uh, no touch, Gabriel. Plug it in. You do it. Rhiannon, please be quiet. I'm making a video. Plug it in, buddy. Oh, other end. This one. Here we go. Okay, plug it in. You do it. Yay! Okay, do you want to turn on the vacuum? Ow. Nose, nose. Ow. Uh huh. No, you hold it. <clears throat> Gabe does it. All right, so Rhiannon, can you please turn on the vacuum? And wait till I say go. Wait till I say go. So Gabriel is 18 months old, and we've been using this on him since he was a newborn. Uh, we started using it on Rhiannon when she was about a year old and got a really nasty, snotty cold. Um, trying to get babies to blow their nose is ridiculous. So this, um, it basically, you can see how small and fine the hose is. It reduces the amount of suction to a safe level. Rhiannon, can you please stand up straight? Stand properly. Thank you. So that it is safe for babies. Uh, it's actually safe for newborns and it helps to reduce secondary infections like ear infections or throat infections from post nasal drip because it sucks all the boogers out. All right, so <clears throat> this guy does not have a cold, nor does he have coronavirus or anything else, but he was crying in the truck. So he's got some boogers and he will demonstrate for us. Okay, you can do it. Can you do it? Can you turn it on, please? <laughs>
Hi. No, no. You want to do your nose again? No. Okay, just a second. I'm doing, I'm talking to sister though. All right, so Rihanna doesn't actually like to use the little, the little hose anymore. She prefers to actually just use, no, no, leave it, keep, uh, uh, leave it. She prefers to just use the shop vac the way that I do. Um, so she's going to demonstrate. Now, uh, I do not recommend letting little kids do this on their own. Um, Rhiannon is four and a half, but she is, I like to think she's very smart and she knows. What are some rules with using the vacuum? Um, I don't know. Yeah, you do. Do we ever put it near our eyes? No. No. And we always have our thumb over. We always have our thumb over it. Leave it. Gave you no touch, please. Anyway, yes, make sure that they always have their thumb over it. Otherwise, this is big enough. Yeah, you can see the boogers in there. Kind of gross, but whatever. Um, this is big enough to go over an eyeball and suck it out. So, all right, would you like to demonstrate how you vacuum your nose with just the vacuum, please? I'd like you to do it too. You just said you were going to do it yourself, so please do it, okay? I didn't say I was going to do it myself. I didn't say that I wanted you to do it. Okay, cool. turn on the button then, please. Okay, come here. Thumb over the hose. You can't touch them too tight. Always tell them to keep their mouth open. That way, it can't uh, can't hurt their ears at all. If you have a loud vacuum, I recommend hearing protection. Always start with the side that is the least stuffed up. That way, when you get the one that's really big, or really clogged rather, then it's uh, How you feel now? Can you still yeah, you can breathe now? Oh. <laughs> we usually do a blow test. We go blow, good, blow. Okay, now sometimes, if, can you turn it off, please? Stop, turn it off, please. Now, sometimes, if a kid is really snotty, hi, are you the doctor today? <laughs> doctor? <laughs> Sometimes, yeah, this is Gabriel. He's going to give us some medical advice. Sometimes if you're really snotty, you may need a tissue at the end. But uh, I do recommend uh, instead of using a tissue, just getting a warm face cloth and getting the snot off. Uh, you don't have to worry too much about the nasty boogers that are in here. Because as you vacuum your floor anyway, um, the stuff dries out and turns into dust and gets sucked up into the vacuum. So even when we all have a cold, with the exception of my husband who builds himself a tissue for it on his desk, we do not have tissues everywhere and we do not have nasty tissues um, full of germs everywhere. We just have a vacuum cleaner full of germs. Right? Right, Gabriel? <laughs>